Hi, so I'm here with Replay and Fix F1 standard size Aussie Doodle Litter. So they are three days old. They were born on July 18th. And so they are just newborn. Um, they had eight puppies. There are five boys and three girls. And I actually have just the boys here right now because it upsets the mamas who take all the puppies away when they're this young. And so I just brought the boys up and then we'll switch and we'll bring the girls up and do those as well. But to start out with, I will just jump right in. I have one of the males and we actually named this litter after trees. Um, and so this is Cedar and he is a red tri. So he's gonna have some really nice copper tone to him. Um, he's got darling, I love these white socks on him that go all the way up that leg and he's got really cute white on his forehead and underneath that belly is white as well. So he is, he's going to be stunning. I love his coloring. Okay. Oh, and he will have the lime green collar. So that is Cedar. Next we have Ash. And Ash is also a red tri. Ash has a white collar that connects around um, his neck here. And he does have a blaze kind of that goes up that forehead. He will have the copper um, highlights as well. So he is considered a tri as well. And he is the light blue collar. All right, so after Ash, we have Cotton. And Cotton is a sable, so he's gonna have more sable markings where you've got like the black tips um, at the end of, of the coat. Um, and then with that um, red color underneath or tan color underneath, he also has a pretty high uh, socks on those front legs, which I think is adorable. And he's got this triangle on the back of his neck. So he will have the red collar. <laughs> oh, and that blaze up his face is pretty wide as well. I like that blaze. All right, so after cotton, we have pine. And pine is a black tri. He's one of the black tries. He has kind of a triangle on the back of his neck as well. Um, and a blaze that goes up that face and um, the, ch the qu white all the way down that chest and belly. He also has the copper um, on him as well. So he is a black tri and he will have the yellow collar. And then last but not least of the males is another black tri. He has a little bit more white, so that white collar goes off to the side here and around, um, and it goes this way a little bit too. Um, and also has that white up that forehead with the white socks that go all the way up the legs. So that is oak. Okay, so now I'm here with the girls. Uh, there, as I mentioned before, there are three girls to start out with here. I have um, Maple, and she will have the dark pink. So Maple is the deepest sable color. She, it might look black in the video, but she is not black. She actually has a tan undercoat um, and is very much a sable. Again, I love their their white on their paws, on their legs. I think it's so cute. Okay, so next we have Aspen. And Aspen will have the purple color. And she is the lightest color. So she's a red tri as well. And she'll have those copper um, points. But she is the lightest color. She has two dots on the back here. Um, but then that big blaze, the socks, white under the chest. So she's got the whole kit and caboodle there. And then last in the litter is Willow. And Willow will have the light pink collar. Um, she is also a sable. 
So, and she has quite a bit of white on that nose there. Um, and then the white under her chest. I got the white line on the back there. I love their little dip stick tails. So cute. So yeah, that is the Aussie Doodle litter. We are just starting to take deposits for this litter. So if you're looking for an Aussie Doodle, um, be sure and reach out. Um, the puppies are, for those of you that, that aren't familiar with our program, um, our dogs are raised on our 600 acre ranch. Um, the puppies are raised in our home. Um, we begin ENS with them at day three and um, just continue with their socializing and development. Um, from there, we're very involved in our puppies um, lives. I have four children and my mom and I do this together. And so um, I think my mom's up to 13 grandchildren now. So they definitely are raised with children um, and lots of love. And so, yeah, if you're looking to add a new puppy to, to the family, be sure and reach out.